Hi, welcome to Wire Today on ICT Beyond Borders. My name is Paul Ekutosia. This week, we're going to be looking at eight ways to use Facebook productively. And uh, before that, I would want to um, throw more light on uh, our last episode where we talked about um, understanding Facebook addiction and trying to deal with being addicted to Facebook. I receive a lot of questions, a lot of comments, and from all our fans, I want to say thank you to everyone who made some comments and who also shared some questions and asked me and from a whole lot of questions i received um, one particular one was paul what are the signs and symptoms of facebook addiction i would like to know what the signs and, and the symptoms of um, being addicted to facebook is all about so and um, in this episode i promised i actually promised then and i said in this episode i will quickly just run through them before i dive into the um, main topic for the week and so uh, I will just give you five uh, five signs and symptoms of Facebook addiction, and uh, you could look at it. Although it varies from individual to individual, it's not more like a standard. It it varies anyway. But definitely, when you find yourself in any of these five categories, you should know that you are becoming addicted to Facebook. So number one sign is you spend a lot of time thinking about Facebook or planning on how to use it. Once you find yourself thinking so much about Facebook, uh, even at work, even at school, once, wherever you find yourself, even in church, you just find yourself thinking so much about Facebook and you're planning on how you're going to use it. Even when it's not that time yet, you just find yourself making plans towards it. Know exactly that you are addicted to Facebook. Number two sign is you feel an urge to use Facebook more and more. There's this odd, there's this um, test, this unquenchable test for you to just tap the icon on your phone and then use it more and more. When you find that odd is there and you never get satisfied from using it, from posting anything on it, you should just know that um, you are having a addiction problem on Facebook. Number three sign is that you use Facebook in order to forget about your personal problem. I, th I think this number three sign is more common uh, amongst uh, Facebook users all over the world. When you find yourself trying to post comments or post, um, share posts of different quotes and all that regarding to life problems and life um, societal issues in generally, just know that you are getting addicted. Now, we just, I, I'm not saying you should not do that, but when you just find yourself, you're trying to forget about your problem, so you stay online, you, you're just there and you sharing and sharing and talking and talking just know that that is one of the biggest signs for an addiction problem on facebook number four um, sign is that you have tried to cut down your use of facebook without success each time you you know for this you, of course you know that you are addicted but and you've tried every means you, you know you're having issues with facebook and you're trying every means to stay away from it but you just can't stay away from it each time you keep yourself away from it and you you find yourself going back and back and forth on facebook know that you are dealing with an addiction problem and then the last sign i want to give to you is that you become restless and troubled if you are prohibited from using Facebook. Now, when I mean prohibition, I don't really mean someone taking your phone. Assuming your phone gets bad or assuming uh, you have um, issues with, um, uh, um, let's say, um, uh, battery issues, you have you, you just have issues with your mobile device or your internet network, you just find yourself becoming restless. You're, you're not comfortable. Know that you're dealing with an addiction problem right there so these are the various signs and symptoms and i remember in the last episode i gave uh, some tips on how to solve these addiction problems on facebook so you should try as much as possible not to allow facebook and social media to have a negative impact on your job or your work on your studies uh whatsoever you are into in life so that will be all on that um, topic. I, I try to answer those questions. I, I, I hope I've actually uh, cleared um, uh, that and made it very, very easy for us to grasp. Now, back to the topic for the week. Eight ways to use Facebook productively. You know, Facebook can be one of the greatest tools in the world for staying connected and increasing your knowledge of information. And it can be one of the biggest time wasters on earth. <laughs> it can waste your time and give you no value. It all depends on how you're using it anyway. So there are people using Facebook and productively. And I'm about to show you eight ways by which you could use Facebook more productively. It's becoming so common. and It's a common trend for users to just deactivate their account. I've seen a lot of people do that uh, out of frustration <laughs> from time and the waste and they have no, they waste their time, they waste their money, they waste their internet data and they, they don't have value from it. 
I, I know so many persons that tell you, man, I'm not on Facebook, Paul, I'm not on Facebook. And uh, you ask them why. I'm not getting any value out of it. So many users who have thought about it, however, quitting Facebook is not an option anyway because it's, uh, for crying out loud, that's one of the largest hubs where you have over 1 billion people on it. So quitting it is not an option. But whether you use Facebook for business purposes or use it to speak with your colleagues at school or at work or to keep an eye on your on um, your friends and all that, you probably know that staying on Facebook is still useful at some level, even amongst all the noise and frustration that goes on on Facebook. So the news feed is constantly being tweaked to show you more relevant stories. You know, the news feed, your, your, your timelines, they are usually tweaked um, technically from the back end of the Facebook uh, developers to make you see more relevant to stories. But it doesn't always filter out all the junk <laughs> according to how you specifically want to be using Facebook. So you have to take it upon yourself to use Facebook well. So every Facebook user can become more productive on Facebook. You can become very, very productive. You can become a very producti productive Facebook user in a way that best optimizes your experience and saves more time for you. So it's time for me to make Facebook productivity a routine because honestly, it's too big and is uh, of uh, a big influential on, on uh, the social network not to use it these days. So if you can't just stay out of it and you must find a way to use it productively. So I'm going to be sharing with you some tips on how to use Facebook productively. You're going to check them out and, and see if they will be able to solve what I call Facebook frustration on social media. Number one tip is organize, add and remove features um, features and masks <laughs> with just a few clicks. You can you know organize your Facebook Organize the whole thing, remove the junks and remove those things that attract junks out of it. If you have been using Facebook for a few years and your entire account could use a serious um, cleanup, you, you will happen to know that you could just spend a whole weekend trying to clean up everything, trying to update your, 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 your profiles, trying to update some information right there, trying to stop some things from coming in and trying to um, ensure that you do not get... Um, some junks right down into your profile. The next um, tip is for you to hide yourself from people you do not want to chat with on Facebook chat. Yes, you can actually hide yourself from people. The trouble with Facebook chat is that you probably look forward to chatting with some of your friends, but get a little annoyed when people um, you're not interested in chatting with begin to chat with you. You can, unfortunately, you can just select those who you can see and you, who you can see online. It's possible for you to do that. So you can just do that on Facebook and you will be limited to those people you want to see online and those people probably you want them to chat you up. Now, the next um, tip I'm going to be giving to you is to, you're going to use Facebook official workplace app to collaborate with your team. You can use Facebook official work, workplace app. It's an app on Facebook. You can use that to collaborate with your team. Even in your workplace, you know, it already requires a collaboration tool like um, Evernote, for example, or something else. You can use the Facebook official uh, workplace app, and it's very, very nice. If you could, if you could just Google it, Facebook official um, or Facebook workplace app, uh, actually, and you get it right there. So you might not be able to create fancy project boards or upload files uh, as uh, that can be edited by any of the team members of in your place of work, but. Facebook for work at least makes it a whole lot easier to start a work, a work chat, a voice or video calling, um, create groups and discuss specific projects and see stories about what is happening in your company and receive updates from important colleagues around you. So it's just a way to, a great way to kind of separate your personal Facebook friends from your Facebook friends at work and from your friends and uh, your friends or friends or your, your families, your acquaintances and all that. So when you need to use Facebook to get in contact with colleagues or something work related, this Facebook app makes it um, a very good and fast solution for you. So that would be, I'll be taking this three tips. This is just the first three tips I'm giving to you in this episode. In the next episode, I'm going to be sharing with us the last um, um, series of tips on how to use Facebook uh, productively. 
If you have questions for me, you could just send me an email at host at ictbeyondborders.net.ng. I'll take that again, host at ictbeyondborders.net.ng. You can follow up my Facebook page, uh, ICT Beyond Borders, uh, facebook.com slash ICT Beyond Borders. And then you can also send me tweets on twitter.com slash ICT double B. And you can go over to our website, uh, www.ictbeyondborders.net.ng, where you could get more of this podcast series. I look forward to seeing, to seeing you next week and giving you the complete rundown on the eight ways to use Facebook more productively. Thank you. See you.